Welcome back guys to part 2 of Freeform Flowing Structures uh, which is part 2 and uh, in our previous video we created the skeleton, the form and in this video we are going to create the mass of the structure so for creating the mass what we need to do is we need to select the surfaces that we require of individual units so we are going to use the command trim to trim out the panels that the circular panels that we had projected onto the surface and trim out the remaining surfaces. It will take a little while for me, my extension piece is a bit slow. It takes a while. So now once we have our surfaces, the individual units that are required to make up the entire whole form, we the best way to put it is working it in layers and in groups but we'll come to that in the further step so now since we have our individual unit surfaces all we need to do is get create the mass out of it so let's select our surfaces and extrude curve so that's the command that we're basically going to use and now if you see in my box in the left it's both sides are checked checked so you could uncheck both the sides because what happens when you extrude a curve and both the sides are there to so extrude from both up and down both sides but all we need is we want it to go in an upward direction so just remove the both sides and basically it's done it just doesn't require too many steps and now what we need is we need a flat surface on uh, a uniform surface on top it's not necessary if you all don't want it then you guys can go ahead with your form but if you all want a uniform surface so since I was making this for a free form ceiling structure so for that I would require a f uniform flat surface on the top and undulated free flowing structure beneath so for that what do we do is we just trim off the unwanted upper undulated surface so what we need is you can take a rectangle that we had created earlier and initially and you could place it under the level that you require but the rectangle you need to give it a surface that's when you can go and go ahead with the trim command so for the rectangle you could use surface from planar curves that's the easiest way of creating a surface out of the rectangle the best is to move, work in either front or side views and use the gumball as much as possible it, it, it prevents and avoids a lot of trouble now since we have our surface in place that we want our f structure to be flat uh, well yeah you could just adjust it exactly touching all the bon boundaries that you require now once that is done you can select the surface and then use the command trim that we used earlier to trim the circles out of the surface need to adjust it a little bit more now since we are done adjusting it so let's just select all and yeah I always make a copy of everything I do just in case it's not necessary to make a copy but I usually do so now we sh shall move ahead with the final step basically which is trimming out the unwanted extruded push extruded surfaces of the units 
so let's go back into the front view select the rectangle and command trim and then select the area that we need to trim and yeah it is tr the command is running but it's a little bit slow in my case it's a little bit lagging so that's basically it and in the further steps uh, it's better to work in layers because once you've worked in layers or if you want to export it into another CAD into CAD or SketchUp it's easier if you work in layers or in groups because then you can just turn it off and since these are individual units it's even more frustrating and confusing now since we're done with trimming uh, those were the layers which weren't exactly touching the surface so they are left out because they don't needed to be trimmed basically if you see they are floating as an individual surface so we can just select them yeah you see they're just individual you can select them and delete them and you could prefer doing it in front view because that would be helpful but this is also if this is also convenient to see if you've selected everything so we basically have our form ready now can you see these are individual units now to select all of them there's an easy method and the select tab select similar or you could do select last created options these are the two best ways of selecting your object faster uh, and we can put them onto a new onto a separate layer by moving all the objects into another layer and you can just turn it off for a while now Now you see are the points that are left. So we'll just select all of them and just hide them. And basically we have our form and our structure ready. Yeah, so the surface that weren't on a separate layer. So we can move them onto a different layer under the same layer that we had our verticals and then you can go into display we have this artistic display form in display within the model within the within Rhino itself so we just this is the view when you play it on artistic display and we are done. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe.